On my micro project, we are working on elimination of gender discrimination within the northern sector. And the communities we are working in specifically for the first year are Champion, Katani, and then Kapalega on these projects. Um, I must say that within the northern sector, we have a lot of problems. One, culturally related issues. And we have poverty to also molding the way society behaves. And so because of the way culture has made things, there are sometimes situations whereby women's rights are being violated, the rights of children are also being violated, the women are voiceless in society, the children are voiceless. And so at the end of the day, they are left somewhere in the background and men virtually take up all the decisions in the house and so that moved us to want to help both the women and the children in society. I'm working in our Kunkumba communities and they do not believe in sending a girl child to school and so what they do is that when a child grows up, a girl child grows up up to stage four, five, they give it out. 14, 15 years you are giving out to marriage and you cannot say you would not because you are forced into it. So when we carried out the training in those communities, at least not all really accepted it, but the chief backed us up. In one of the communities, there was this girl who was 14 years. She was very good in class, but she was in stage five. And the father had taken money from one person, a man twice the age of that girl and promised that he would give the daughter out in marriage when she's 14 years. Mm -hmm. So when the lady was exactly 14, the father said, okay, he was going to withdraw the girl out of school and give the girl out. So the mother was like, no, the girl is too young. Mm -hmm. She can't even wash her own panties well. Mm -hmm. Why should you give her out? She's not mature. The man said, no. People came in, he said, no. But when we went in for the training, they, we went with the teacher, to the man's house. After the training, we went to the man's house, spoke to him. He said, okay, he is doing it because he doesn't have money. And because he owes, he was owing that man, he promised the man to give the daughter out. And so he was going to give the daughter out. So we explained to him that, look, each of us have a right to marry. Fine, marriage is good, but it becomes very bad and abusive when one is forced into it at an age where the person is not prepared for. And marriage goes along with some responsibilities. And these are against the rights of the girl. So upon explanation and other things, the man changed his mind and left the girl alone. So the girl wasn't giving out into marriage again.